In 1985, Friday nights meant hot pies from Luigi's. See, my mom used to play down this very block, waiting patiently for my grandpa to return home with a slice. You see, Luigi's legacy started in 1973. Let's go take a walk down the block. Luigi's Pizza has been a staple in this neighborhood since 1973, when the namesake himself, who immigrated from Italy with only a dollar and a dream, worked tirelessly to bring his vision to life. Though Luigi passed away on June 14, 2021, his legacy lives on through his family, who continues to operate the business as a tribute to the man who started it all. I love what I do. There's a lot of pride. It's not just slapping some stuff together and making a profit. I believe in a great price where people can eat more and enjoy it. And it's got my father's name on it. It says Luigi's, not Giovanni. I'm Giovanni, my father was Luigi. My parents came here with nothing, made it work. And I gotta do better than what they did. As hard as I try, it's amazing what they accomplished. Came here with not speaking English, they didn't understand anything but they made it work, they made it happen. They made the dream come true by working so hard, 18 hour days, seven days a week. It was a tough life, but they wanted us to be better, and I want my son, I work harder to make it better for my son someday. The neighborhood has changed around Luigi's immensely, but the people that stop in for a slice or a calzone have always stayed the same. In fact, they're considered family. I had a deli over here on 5th Avenue and 20th Street. We're retired now, me and my brother John. We had the store, I'd say, over 50 years. I happened to get sick, I had open heart surgery, and we had to give it up. I've been in this neighborhood 80 years, born and, born and raised, and uh, there's no other neighborhood better than this one. I describe the neighborhood as a very friendly neighborhood. I know Gio's family when they came from Italy. Giovanni's family lived across the street from us on 20th Street, and uh, they were good people, honest working people. They had this business here at the pizzeria for over 50 years, and uh, we were good friends. Another neighborhood regular and familiar face is John Calashoni. I was born and raised in this neighborhood all my 77 years, and this has always been home to me, you know. In fact, I know Gio since he's a little boy. You know, and his father opened up this establishment in 1973. They just celebrated their 50th year in business and they had a big party outside here. It was great. They invited the entire neighborhood. It was a true celebration of life. When you come here, you don't feel like you're going to a business. You're going to another place that you call home. And he doesn't consider it work, Giovanni. He considers it, oh, I'm here. That's what he does. Morning, noon, and night. One night I was going to dinner with my wife and I said, oh my God, something happened outside of Luigi's Pizza. Let's go over there and see what's going on. It was just the people waiting for a slice. <laughs> and, and, uh, and he's a great guy. He, he's a great guy. And it's truly a family business. And even the next generation of neighborhood regulars like Joseph carry the tradition of enjoying Luigi's Pizza. It's my favorite place since I was a little kid. How many years it's been here and how creative they get with their pizza. Before I left Luigi's, I asked Giovanni what's a memory that he holds close to his heart. All the people that used to come in, all the memories, everybody knows your name, everybody. It was just, it was a great feeling. When you walked in, I know you since you were a baby, I know your mother when she was a kid. We grew up over here. Those are the memories of are in this store. My mother and father, they passed away, but they're here. They're here with me every day. And I love that more than anything in the world. That's why I come to work. My parents are here, the neighborhood's here. So, I close my eyes once in a while, pitch everybody's still here. And there's so much more to uncover and discover here on Fifth Avenue. Until next time, I'm Star Fuentes.